Hey guys, I'm Jonah Catani. I'm Josephine Bradwell. And we're students in international hospitality and tourism. Our major will focus on hospitality and tourism. Alongside other minor subjects, such as aviation business management, hotel and restaurant management, event planning, and culinary arts. Aside from studying in the classroom, though, we like to get hands-on experience in the lab. And today we'll be learning how to cook. Mm -hmm. What will be the menu today? Well, I'm not sure. Let's go find out in the kitchen. Oh, wait. We're not dressed for the kitchen. Oh, that's right. Let's change our suits. Ah, look like we are ready. Yeah, we look great. Please follow us to the kitchen. Hey guys, we're back again, and we have some ingredients here today. Let's take a look. Uh, we have some diced sweet potato, uh, two breadsticks, some cream, salt, pepper, chunky sweet potato, and chicken broth to start off. Set off. Some sweet potatoes chunks into the blender right away. Mm -hmm. And some chicken broth, about two scoops first. Okay, then we're going to pour it into the pot. And we're just going to keep stirring it the entire time. Go ahead. And then we're going to add one half tablespoon of salt. Okay. And a half tablespoon of pepper. After that, just place it down there and you're going to get some cream here. And you're going to pour in all the cream slowly. Nice and slow. So it's going to give it a thick texture. Get all of it. And then after that, just keep stirring it. Nice and slow. And then we'll be pouring it three-fourths of a cup. Make sure it doesn't spill. Take um, it nice and slow. Yes. About that's it. Mm -hmm. A little Do bit more. more. Then you're going to add, and now that that's done, uh, you're going to put about three or four of these big chunks. Maybe like, yeah. You know, in the middle. Around that, okay. in the middle. Maybe one more. Okay. okay. And then a breadstick on top on the side, just like this. And that's sweet potato soup. And uh, please stay tuned with us to find out what we're doing next time. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Jonah Katani. And I'm Super Kid Gansad. And we're gonna make you some mocktails today to start off. Okay, to start off with, today we will make a cocktail called Fosin, which contains um, apple juice and cinnamon syrup. The cinnamon is very strong, so. Yeah, and the ingredient is cinnamon. Yeah, this cinnamon. And here is licorice. We can't forget this because it's pretty important. So, sparkling water mm -hmm. and ice. Two and a half on of this. Gotta make sure it's just right, otherwise it's gonna overpower yep. the ice. Yeah. Two and a half. One more. Yep, and have one of this. Then, pour in ice. It's just a bit of the ice. About 80%. Yep. 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 Then, put it over top. The most fun pass. Yeah. After this, 
this. We put the sparkling water. Oh, just right on top of it. It's gonna add some more freshness to the drink. Make sure the syrup's not too strong. Yep. Then we put the cinnamon and dipping. And the rice together. It's my favorite part. Yeah. Gotta make sure you get that smell out when yeah. you burn it, so that it kind of infuses with the drink. There you go. So, <clears throat> you taste mine? Oh, oh yes, I do. How is it? I taste a good amount of cinnamon, but the sparkling water makes sure that it uh, doesn't overpower at all. Yeah, yeah. That's good. So, for my side, I'm going to make you uh, flower time. The ingredients in this is lychee juice and elderflower syrup. So, once again, you're going to start off with um, two and a half ounces of this syrup. Let's see. Okay. Thank you. Two and a half ounces of this. This stuff is really sweet, so make sure it's at the right measurements. <clears throat> Once again, 80% ice. About three or four ice cubes will do the trick. Uh -oh. All right. Oh, one more. Good measure. Yep. Put this over it. Start to shake. some orange peel to it. You want to twist it first, like this. Just get nice, that zest all over that foam. You can kind of see it sparkle a little bit already. And then, you're going to do a similar thing over there, and you're going to take the lavender, and you're going to burn it a little bit. Just to get that smell out. And that's flower time. Would you like to taste mine? Yes, please. How do you enjoy <laughs> You just got a mouthful of <laughs> Nice. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Hey guys, my name is Super Kit Yamsa. And I am Tanapong Kla. Back with us at Haiti University. Today we'll be showing you how to set up table, Western style. We're providing you three main courses. Start up with appetizer, which is sweet potatoes. And main course is grilled salmon. And the last one is dessert, which is blueberry panna cotta. Okay, we will start out with putting the napkin on the center of the table and then the fish knife and remember all the culinary you have to put from inside to outside and following with the fish fork on the left handed and then the soup spoon next to the fish knife and then the dessert spoon and fork above the napkin. Yep. And then the bread plate on the left handed above the fish fork on top with the butter knife. 
After that, the white wine glass on the right-handed above the soup spoon and finish with goblet water. So here's the example of how you're setting up the table western style for the western menu set. You might be wondering why we do all these things. Well here, we believe to become a great manager, you need to know all the basic knowledge and understanding of every job and faculty in IHT. Whether you're learning in the classroom, experiencing a hands-on, or solving real-life problems, developing these skills will give you that edge to give, apply it to the real world of international hospitality and tourism. Thank you.